So can, here's, here's what I think is like kind of a silly way. Let's take f of x to be the function that's always equal to zero. Let's take g of x to be the function that's equal to x, and let's take h of x to be the function that's always equal to one, right? And then let's note that f r g, uh, because uh, f of zero equals g of zero, right? And let's notice that g r h, because uh, g of one equals h of one, right? But we have f not r h, because for all real numbers x, uh, f of x, which is equal to zero, is not equal to one, which is equal to g of x. So it just comes down to like zero not being equal to one.